Hello and welcome to this lesson where we're going to look at how to edit a sprite. You can go to scratch.mit.edu. You can sign in and then uh, when you're ready to save your project, you can save it under my stuff. Or you can still be at this website and simply press create. I'm going to use the uh, desktop version. And we're going to bring through a penguin. You can choose any sprite you like. Uh, I'm going to show you why I'm choosing the penguin. Uh, I want one that is, first of all, facing and then it has a couple of costumes. So I'm going to choose this one. And we don't need the cat. In older versions, you used to right click on the cat to delete, but now that's not available. So we come down to this area and right click on the cat and then delete. What we're wanting to do is uh, we actually want to create a couple of costumes for this penguin. At the moment, there are some costumes available. I do like this one because it's got his mouth open. And then the ones that are on the side, we're going to delete these ones. Uh, we actually want him still facing towards the audience. So simply right click on the costume and delete. So we end up with two of them. I'm going to go back to the first one where he's got his uh, mouth just simply in a neutral position. And I'm going to right click and duplicate and then move that one to the end. So we have him normal, mouth open and then normal. The last two costumes, we're actually going to edit them ourselves to create a different costume. We want to be in a bitmap view. At the moment, it's in a vector, which is math based. So convert to bitmap and then zoom in. We're going to use the selection tool and we want to change his arm from being straight we want to bend it up so we're going to select his arm and then take your finger off the mouse then up here it's a flip vertical so we're going to press that then while his arm is still selected we're going to move it until it looks like it's joined up with his rest of his arm again and try not to leave a white space Then click away. We're going to zoom in to see what the join looks like. It is requiring a little bit of black in here to join his elbow. So I'm going to click on the line. And it's size 10 at the moment. That's quite big if you come down. So I'm going to bump that down to about 4. And it's colored purple. Now a nice feature in here is you can just press the arrow key down and then change your color. I do like that feature. So now we're just going to fill in where his elbow joins. And that looks all right to me. So we can zoom out. So we've got a normal costume. Then the one we've edited with his arm up. And then in the next costume, he's back with both arms down. We actually want to edit his opposite arm now to make that one flip up. So again, we convert to bitmap, then use the selection tool. From experience, it's best to start your selection tool at the bottom of his arm and then bring it up. Then while his arm is selected, we choose the flip vertical and then uh, just move it until it looks like it's joined naturally and then click away zoom in to have a good view and that looks good to me so now uh, we've got the three costumes but, but we've got to get the code to actually tell it to move between these costumes now so I click on code and we always need a code to start the animation, which is under events. And we're going to choose when the green flag is clicked. 
Then we want looks, and this is where you find your costumes. This one here, switch costume to, and then you've got a drop down list. Scratch is quite clever and picks up which costumes you have, even though you, we've created one. So it's picked up this new one here. We've copied Penguin 2A, and now it's a second version, so quite clever. So we'll start with Penguin 2A. Then if you right click duplicate, snap it on the bottom and switch to 2B and then uh, duplicate and snap it on the bottom and now it's Penguin 2A2. In between these switch costumes we do want a little bit of a weight climb so we go to control and choose weight and place it in between the costumes then change the one second to 0 0.5 you can experiment which time would be most suitable that 0 0.5 looks good then we're going to duplicate that one oh, sorry we had the extra ones on the bottom and uh, then uh, duplicate it again so now we just put it in between our costumes and if we join this to the when green flag is clicked this will only run through the animation once so if you want it to continue you've got to put all of these codes inside the forever block then join it to your starting block now let's see what that looks like by clicking the green flag and the animation is in the stage area and that looks quite cute so let's stop that now we want to duplicate this penguin and have another penguin doing the same animation but are just a little bit quicker so in the past we used to just simply right click on the sprite in the stage but we can't it's not available now we have to come down into this area right click duplicate and that one's called Penguin 3. So we're going to move Penguin 3 towards the back. And we want this one smaller for two reasons. We want it to appear as if it's a baby one. And also we want it further in the background. So I'm going to make it half the size of the adult one. So I've changed the size from 100 down to 50 and then press enter. And then it will have the same animation. So when I click on Penguin 2, that's the animation code for Penguin 2. Penguin 3 has the same code. We want this one to move a little bit faster, so I'm going to change it to 0.2 for each of the wait times. Then when we run the animation by clicking on the green flag, you can see the baby one in the background just quicker movements than the adult one in the foreground. So let's stop that animation. And now we just want a backdrop. Backdrops are from this menu here. Choose a backdrop and then click on the magnifying glass. And we're wanting something uh, out in the snow, obviously. So we can do a search or we can go to outdoors and choose from that category. I'm just going to type in cold and see what comes up. Uh, there's two that come up and I'd like this Arctic one. So click on that. It's placed it in the background and now we just need to place the penguins so they look like they're on a piece of ice. And this baby one will be just underneath this cliff piece of ice. And let's see what that looks like with the animation. That looks quite good. So we're ready to save our project. So press stop to file and save to your computer. Once you're saved, then you can come back into file and load from your computer to your web base if you wish. Let's have a look at what I've got in Scratch at the moment at scratch.mit.edu. If I click this, uh, there is some music in the background, but you won't hear it, only I will. 
and let's see uh, I've actually uh, done something a little bit extra with these penguins so I'm putting out a challenge to see if you can create something similar or something more complicated than what I've done with these penguins So have fun editing your sprite and I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson. Thank you for watching.